Something else the task force will review is HPD's Independent Police Oversight Board. There's been a lot of criticism that the board could do so much more. So tonight, Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold shows us how the board works and the changes some in the community want to see. As calls for police accountability grow louder, attentions are focusing on civilian oversight boards. Houston's had one since 2011. It's called the Independent Police Oversight Board. President of the NAACP's Houston chapter and TSU law professor, Dr. James Douglas, is not a fan. It has no power. It can't accomplish anything. Douglas Long pushed the city for just such an oversight board that initiates its own investigations and takes its findings to the DA's office. He says what we got is not what he envisioned. I think if it was more of an independent board, you'd have more public trust. Board members are split into four panels and tasked with reviewing use of force incidents, police misconduct, and other internal affairs investigations. This city executive order spells out the point is to provide a system of increased accountability and transparency and to facilitate resident input into the internal investigative process. So it's a nice thing to say we have a citizen review board, but if they can't do anything, it's just window dressing. So what can the board do? Members make recommendations on officer discipline, training, even hiring. Some members also sit on HPD's disciplinary committee, except the chief is not required to follow any of the board's recommendations. Marvin Hamilton is in his second term as chairman, and he's heard those criticisms. They criticize Jesus Christ. So. Criticism is something you expect. Hamilton says board members are unpaid volunteers who, he estimates, review about 275 cases a year. The board can't initiate its own investigations, only review cases provided by HPD. When we get it, it's just a case put together. And usually there's a recommendation from the division. Hamilton says the board's offices are on the 20th floor of HPD headquarters. That's where all documents are reviewed because nothing is allowed to leave the building to ensure confidentiality. The board also cannot discuss its findings with the public. Do you feel it's truly independent? I do. I do. Well, well maybe not 100%, 95 maybe that's close. Uh, so I'd say yes. Then how does he assure the public this board is a check and balance to the system? I couldn't assure anybody that, hey, this is a real check and balance. I, I couldn't do that. I, I can't. I, I can tell you that I believe that, but I couldn't convince you if you don't believe it. However, Hamilton says he can't recall a time board members were not given full access to a case. He also estimates that 90% of the time, board recommendations and what the chief decides to do are in agreement. The board can also ask the city's inspector general to step in if it feels HPD did not go far enough. I don't recall it, it happening because I haven't had a reason to go to. Hamilton's also heard the calls to give the board subpoena powers and move it out of HPD headquarters. For me to do a lot of the things that people want you to do, I'd have to go investigate that case. And, and we're not investigators. I'm not trained to investigate. So you're getting into these sticky local government code issues. Former Houston police officer and now attorney, Tom Nixon says a big issue with oversight boards is the law doesn't really allow civilians to dictate terms of any kind to certified police officers. And that's what the Code of Criminal Procedure lays out is, is who has the authority to give a police officer an order of any kind. Nixon also argues we already have a form of civilian oversight when a police officer crosses the line. And that's the grand jury. Chief Art Acevedo says he'll listen to any recommendations the mayor's new task force has, and union leaders say they've never had a problem with a second set of eyes. If you would like to hear more about the Oversight Board's operations, we've put our full interview with Marvin Hamilton on click2houston.com. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.